तो फ्रेंड्स एप्पल रिसेंटली रिलीज मैक ओ सिकोया बीटा फिफ्टीन डॉट टू एंड इट कम्स विद सम इंटरेस्टिंग एप्पल इंटेलिजेंस फीचर्स लाइक यू गेट चैट जी पी टी इंटीग्रेशन यू कैन नाउ यूज इमेज प्ले ग्राउंड इन योर मैक एंड यू ऑल्सो गेट सम जेनमोजी ऑप्शन एंड या देर इज सम एडिशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ राइटिंग टूल सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस फीचर्स इन टूडेज वीडियो बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल डोंट फॉर टू सब्सक्राइब लेट स्टार्ट Now let's start with ChatGPT integration. Now you can use ChatGPT with Siri, and there is one more thing I need to tell you that if you go to Launchpad after 15.2 update, you will be able to see the new Siri icon or the new Siri logo. But in my case, I'm still getting the older one. It might be a bug, but yeah, that's the thing I wanted to tell you. Now, uh, in order to use Siri with ChatGPT, you need to enable ChatGPT first. For that, uh, so for that, you can just simply go to System Settings and then select Apple Intelligence and Siri option. Don't forget to turn on this Apple Intelligence toggle and don't forget to set your language to English US. Uh, if you go down on this particular page, select ChatGPT option and you need to set up ChatGPT first. So when you tap on Setup, you get this page over here. Now. Uh, you can uh, you know get chatgpt integration with siri you can compose text in uh, writing tools you can work with a chatgpt account as well so all you have to do is just simply tap on next option and select enable chatgpt now once you enable chatgpt you will get this screen uh, if you want to add your account you can do uh, that as well and Uh, you will be shown a daily limit and currently it is under limit but if you use your account and if you have updated or if you have uh, bought the subscription of uh, chat gpt plus then you might get unlimited option over here there is one more option over here related to siri confirm chat gpt request so it says that if chat gpt can help with the request siri will ask you before sending any information to chat gpt so uh, in simple words uh, siri directly won't ask chat gpt it will always take your permission before sending the request to chat gpt so if you want to use chat gpt directly you can just simply uh, tap on siri and say ask chat gpt and whatever your question is so let me ask i can i'll just simply tap on siri ask chat gpt about next week's weather update for chicago now you can see it is working with chat gpt could you specify the location you're interested in for the weather update chicago here's an answer from chat gpt now you can see with the help of chat gpt it has given me the weather update for next week for chicago you can uh, you know ask specific commands and chat gpt will help you if you want to so yeah that's chat gpt integration with siri now let's talk about the next feature which you get in apple intelligence and that is writing tool for that i'm going to open notes application over here now there is an article related to global warming now this is just for example uh with writing tool you might know that uh, whenever you select sentence you get apple intelligence logo over here and you can use proofread to check out the grammatical mistakes uh if you want to rewrite this particular sentence in friendly professional or concise way you have that option as well so uh, let's say if i want to write this sentence in friendly way i am going to select friendly and it is going to uh, you know scan that sentence and later on it will turn it to friendly way now if you want to keep the change uh, you can select done option but if you want to go to uh, you know original way you can select revert option as well now there is an addition in writing tool and that is again if i select uh, the sentence or paragraph you get apple intelligence logo over here but also you can select uh, option from here as well so yeah there is an option of describe your change so you can you know add or you can just write it down however you want the sentence or if you want to add uh, you know additional points to that sentence now i'm going to make it funny so i'm going to type make it funny and now you can see it has converted that sentence in a funnier way now you can read if you want to and if you want to keep the change as i told you you can select done or else you can select revert option to go back to the original way it was now this was related to uh, rewrite and proofread but you get additional option as well like you can uh, create a summary of that you can make uh, key points from that particular article or anything or the selected sentence you can convert it into list form or table form if you want to compose anything with chat gpt you have that option as well so if you select compose now uh, you can compose it with chat gpt but as i told you if you have uh, chat gpt plus then you can upgrade to it and then you have unlimited option so that's the thing but yeah the point is now you can use chat gpt integration in writing tool as well
Now there is one more important feature which you get with Mac OS Sequoia 15.2 and that is Image Playground. Now Image Playground is application in which you can create an image based on your description and uh, you also get suggestions over here. You can create an image based on this. So let's describe an image and you have to be specific about it. So let's create an image based on lion with hat. So once the input is given, uh, it will create an image over here. Now you can see it has created an image of lion which has hat and you get multiple images and if you want to save any one particular image you can just simply tap on this three dot and you can select save image and it will save that particular image in image playground now if you like the image you can just give a thumbs up if you don't like it you can give a thumbs down but if you want to add multiple inputs over here let's say if you want uh, to add birthday party or let's say birthday i'm going to select birthday and it has given another input now based on the input it will generate the image now you can see the lion is with hat but yeah the birthday input is also taken if you want to see more suggestion you can see uh, select uh, show more option over here and in themes we have selected birthday so if we go sideways now there is a costume option now let's say if we want our lion to be scientist so we have given scientist input now over here you can see based on the input it has again generated the image and costume is been added so yeah these are the different uh, options you can check out also you can change the style now currently as i told you it is cartoonist basically it is in animation style you can select the style option over here and you can make it to illustration as well now later on whichever image you create it will be created in illustration form so now you can see this is illustration now you also get multiple uh, interpretations for that but it is loading for now and once it is done you can just scroll between the images and you can save whichever you want now let's say if i want to save this image i'm going to select save image over here and if i select done so it will save the image in image playground and later on if you want to edit this image you can select edit option over here and you can add multiple inputs whichever you want now there is also an addition of genmoji but uh, the thing is you can create genmoji if you have iphone with ios 18.2 update but if you have uh, created any genmoji you will be able to see that over here in your mac but you cannot create genmoji directly in your mac so if i select if i go to emoji option over here and if i go to stickers these are the uh, genmojis which i have created on my iphone 15 pro which has 18.2 update so you can select the uh, genmojis and you can send it but if you select this plus icon you can select image playground option over here and now you can see we have we are able to see that uh, saved image over here but yeah the point is you can create image uh, directly from uh, you know message application you can create whichever image you want now let's try to create an image so we have given an input of dog with robotic arms and later on it will show the image and if you select done option over here that image is added to your message application and later on you can send it now it is not like genmoji but yeah uh, you can create image directly in message application and for genmoji you need iphone with 18.2 update and whichever genmoji you create over there you can see that in your mac so yeah these are some interesting features which you get with mac os sequoia 15.2 if you update your mac uh, you must definitely try it out so that's pretty much it for today's video guys i hope this video was helpful if it was don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next one thank you